But tell your own story for one thing. And, and it's so risky because we've got a religious institutional system that its sense of self-existence is predicated on the idea of secrecy and hiddenness. And at some point, we, you know, there's a group um, called Hope for Life Miami. They refuse to call themselves a church, but that's what they are. And, I mean, they, they have the most hurt of the most hurt that are part of their community. People with uh, disassociative identity disorder and multiple personality and, and, and uh, Miami-Dade cops who had guns in their mouths and alcoholics and, and the police department sends them to this community. You will never be in an environment where stories are rampant. Everywhere you go is an open book, right? They also hug more people in a day than most people do in a lifetime because that's they are present to each other and, and they're constantly working this stuff out. But if you want to see something in action, it's like them. And you can just, they'll say, come, yeah, come, be a Spend a day or a week with us or whatever. And, um, and it's, it's unlike anything else you'll ever be a part of. It's just like there's a community who is unique. You're not going to transpose that anywhere else. And you don't want to, right? Because had, we had this discussion when I was there. And they said, Sh you know, people are coming to us and saying, we want to do this same thing. I said, don't fall for it, <laughs> you know, because again, like marriage, the uniqueness of a community is dependent on the people involved in it. The uniqueness of a family depends on who's in the family, right? And any healthy family, excuse me, moves at the speed of the slowest, not at the speed of the vision and not at the speed of the, the experts, right? Every healthy family moves at the speed of the slowest. And we're a family. Right? And so part of it is, as you begin to just, and, and grace is a part of it, but so is exposure. A lot of us, we were afraid to tell our stories because we saw what the system did to people who were actually honest. It destroyed them. Right? It, it excised them. And the speed of the slowest meant that you were the first to be booted out because you're the marginal person. You're the one on the edges and you can't move at our speed. That we have a vision and a mission and a ministry. And I'm sorry you think you're part of the family, but you're actually not because you're slowing us down. And I know that sounds brutal, but we're brutal in terms of our religious institutionality and the ways that we come at this. And yeah, it means you're going to have to take some risks. Yeah, it's, it, we're entering a season of time, I think, in the rising of human consciousness where the ability to take risks is opening up even more and more. 